Shimon County hitting over 400 new cases of COVID-19 today as an outbreak at the Elmira Correctional Facility continues to grow. This as the U.S. records its highest number of daily COVID-19 cases and the grim new projection of COVID deaths in the months to come. Our 18 News anchor and reporter Jordan Norcus has the latest. 424. That's how many new cases of COVID-19 Chemung County reported on Friday. The majority of those cases coming from an outbreak at the Elmira Correctional Facility. But why so many? Once the lab analyzes your results, uh, they're entered into a statewide system called Eclairs, Electronic Clinical Laboratory Reporting System, and then they're downloaded to the individual county. So what happened yesterday was uh, the prison downloaded a bunch into Eclairs, and then uh, there was about 200 positives out of the 405 additional that we had uh, this morning. According to the State Department of Corrections, there are 337 cases among inmates with 430 pending tests and eight recoveries. The Elmira Correctional Facility dealing with the highest number of positive COVID-19 cases in the state's prison system. Green Correctional Facility in Green County following just behind. When we saw the spikes in both Green and Elmira, it was a concern for staff, it was a concern for inmates as, as these numbers rose, that there was a need to you know, shut down visitation, close off all transportation of inmates except for, for medical emergencies. With the sustained positive coronavirus rate around 5% for several weeks, Governor Andrew Cuomo put the Elmira area in the orange zone, closing non-essential businesses such as barbershops and gyms for at least two weeks. This also includes schools. But many are wondering if the prison numbers affect the county's orange zone standing. When I spoke with the governor's chief of staff yesterday, he indicated that although those numbers are included in Chemung County's numbers, they were not utilized in the decision making process to move Chemung County into orange or yellow. What we're seeing in Chemung County is happening across the nation. The U.S. recorded the highest number of daily COVID-19 cases on Thursday. More than half a million American lives could be lost to COVID-19 by the end of February of 2021. That's according to a new model from the University of Washington. And when you enter the season of the cooler months of the fall and the colder months of the winter, where a lot of activity out of necessity is going to be inside as opposed to outside, that's a difficult and challenging situation to be in. But the model also shows universal mask wearing could save nearly 130,000 of those half million lives. Reporting in Elmira, Jordan Orcus, 18 News.